All righty. Wow, folks, welcome back uh, after, I guess it's been two weeks since we last met. Um, and now it's one day, one and a half days for you guys, I guess one day, well, some of you came in Niagara Falls. So one day passed, the uh, Humans Being More Summit in Toronto. And um, there's so much to do still to sort of wrap this event up. We're working on the video montage of the event. Um, we're working on the video of the Humans Being More Awards, the first annual Humans Being More Awards, so that we'll have a history of that. We're working on um, a link for all the photos that were taken, all the proper photos, so that you'll all have access to them and be able to download your favorite shots. Um, of course, there's so many thank yous that still have to go out, bills that still need to get paid, but all that will have be handled in the next week or two. So. I'm thrilled. Um, just from my point of view, honestly, I, um, I'm overwhelmed by how wonderful the experience was for, for, for us all. Um, it was a, a high degree of stress and tension for me, definitely. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed me limping. Um, but oh, that was, no. no, that was uh, the twisted spine and the sciatica reacting, and it was, it was, very hard, but the day, like the very ne the after the HBM awards, I was like, "Let's dance!" <laughs> so <laughs> you did too. Oh my god! So, oh wow! Don't tell me stress doesn't affect us. Holy smokes, does it? <laughs> Anyways, um, what a thrill! What a thrill! I'm just still reeling from it. Um, what what an opportunity to spend quality time with quality people in a quality environment. And with such a, I think, a very meaningful and purposeful agenda. And so rather than me tell you what um, I think of the event, I know you've all been commenting and, uh, and there's a lot of people who were not able to be at the event who really missed something extraordinary, I think. I don't really know how to compare this event to any other event, to be honest. Um, so maybe you guys can share your insights for the benefit of those like Charlie, who's on the call today, who wasn't able to be there, he was scheduled to be there. He had such a situation of shingles there and was not able to attend. Uh, fortunately, though, he was able to get his ticket to someone else who did attend, and they had an extraordinary time as well. So, um, why don't we just uh, play Ron Robin? Whoever wants to chime in and um, and just give us some of your feedback on. Any aspect of it. Um, again, the purpose of this call is to encapsulate from your perspective as, as attendees for the benefit of those who were not there, what, uh, what happened, what, for, what happened for you. So anyone, feel free. Well, I was on the plane with Claire. I sat next to her on the way back and from the Bay Area. And she, what she said was, there, she can't imagine topping this ever, even next year or ever, that it was so profound and powerful. And what was really powerful for me was the whole way everything, well, first of all, just the whole energy and the whole vibration, which I absolutely, I, I believed and I knew and I trusted and it went right into my heart. That is the most powerful thing, and, and there's no way to um, get that except to be there, I don't think. I mean, I hope the vibration of telling it and, and really sharing it, um, I'm sure it, it will transfer, but it, it, it can't be. Um, you have to be there to experience it. And then just the whole way with the purpose, um, profit, and people, the whole way it was organized, there was nothing that didn't flow and didn't follow and didn't integrate and I um, am blown away and your kids are are um, the power the, the, the power and the beauty of their spirit was palpable it, it was uh, amazing so and I I know you're a proud father and we're all well I stand in awe that I my path has crossed with with yours. Thank you. So. 
Mike, it's Randy. Uh, it was extraordinary. Uh, I agree with Carol. I don't think it can be talked, but this is the kind of thing he can that uh, we deserve. And I think that's one of your points that this quality and uh, high vibration is what we all need and want and deserve. And uh, I, I loved the, everything was taken care of. It worked like clockwork. And that we all had interpretative ear amazing. Yeah. So we could hear everything. And um, the energy of the Latin American, so, so elegant and uh, family focused. I just thought the energy was amazing and it, it felt like a real community to change the world. And uh, that uh, focus on the, the five pillars, that it is a healthy lifestyle that affects absolutely everything from children to the elderly. Uh, it, it was just, it really came across as, you know, a philosophy of true wellness and uh, that, that um, you know, we have a world mission and there were 220 something people there that can change the world. And it was just awesome. I'm going to cry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Beyond exceptional is, is the briefest comment that I can make. And we're ready to bring, to, 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 to register as soon as next year's event is, is, is open for registration and come back with a huge team. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Michael, I'm still here, and it's Maggie here. I'm still in Vancouver, or Toronto, rather. I go back to Vancouver tomorrow, and I'm still living in the vibration that was created for the weekend. And as someone who had uh, new people there, like two new consultants uh, who each had guests, and some of my team were there as well, it was absolutely indescribable. And, and you know, it's so hard to put in words the impact. I know that for my son and, and, and Inga, his girlfriend, they, they caught something there that we could never convey through words or in homes or anything. It was a sense of this is something that's making a difference in the world, not just in our own lives, but in the world. And your children, that's what I really wanted um, them to uh, experience because family is so important in our family as it is in yours. And to see your three children who are individually brilliant and talented and loving and the fact that they absolutely live this philosophy and get this philosophy i think that changed many many lives i know it changed mine and my sons to look at things like this is really important we need we need to but we have the privilege of more than we need to we have the privilege of being part of something that mr masuda probably knew intuitively as soon as he began this and and the fact that his spirit was still so present and i'm so grateful that we talked about our japanese heritage susan carver did a brilliant job of bringing back that whole sense of you know who who we are right from the beginning our roots and our wings was you know quite a theme um and people were saying you guys had bob proctor there <laughs> Richard Brooke, like top drawer over the top and the gala, the gala was the lock-in event because my son couldn't be there for most of the Friday, Saturday, but that was a lock-in event. If I ever saw one, he was like, these people are really classy and this is a great event. And Michael, and he know my son and he knows you, this is really cool. So I, I'm so excited for the future for all of us, but particularly for people that I had there whose eyes just went pop. Wonderful. Um, having the cocktail reception for the speakers, having that opportunity to eat one another and talk and uh, good preparation. And what was kind of amazing for me, it's these five pillars with that spirit at the center that I saw and resonated with. And, and after two years of my sponsor calling me, when I saw that, that was my decision point. Humans being more, 20 some times that humans being more training. I think, Mike, over the past couple of years, I've talked about this forum um, being a clinical practicum of humans being more. Well, this past weekend, 
uh, was the opportunity to experience the outcomes at a graduation, a big graduation party is what it felt like, to the tune of, you know, even at the end of the evening, about going to networking events. Um, your daughter was at Savannah, was at the back of the room. So um, Karma, the new, the brand new person on uh, Barb's team, on Dr. Melanie's team, uh, and she and I just started talking well, we exchanged accounts where we have university connections to connect her to and her ideas. The ABCs, the uh, informal ABCs, uh, Dr. Tom and his wife were staying at a timeshare, the young couple that I brought at another hotel, we all changed in our room. So the, the connections for planning the next events all happened. And the medical panel, the practices that we did for, you know, it was actually Dr. Patino said, yeah, I want everybody's number. We need to be doing ABCs with one another. And so that it was truly, uh, um, besides being first class and everything that everybody has said, it was, and so structured as you had it. I mean, it seemed like we didn't have time, even though you said, if you have to go, go. Uh, when anybody did go, whether it was in the bathroom, changing clothes in a room, eating a meal together, it was work, productivity, productive activity that didn't feel like it. It felt Met, like Met, it really Met, felt Met. like vibration of the humans being more the entire time. And so I'm glad it was as small as it was, even though it was as big as it was. And I'm sure that as a result of what happened, you're going to need a bigger venue next year because people will. Met, Met. Yeah. Yes. Uh, can I, Go ahead. Uh, I hate to interrupt. Is this, this is Barb Satterwhite. I'm on the plane. I'm literally on the runway and I'm not supposed to be on the phone. Congratulations, so Barb Satterwhite. You. Yeah, I want to quickly awards. tell you that it was awesome in so many ways and I better hang up before they kick me off the plane. <laughs> I'll listen later. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you, Barb. Leave next, next Monday open. We want to interview you. Mm -hmm. That's um, Barb Satterwhite, who was the first annual recipient, well, the first recipient, because it's going to be an annual award, of the Platinum Leadership Excellence for 2018. So it was thrilling to watch her receive that. Anyone else? Yeah, Twank, it's Yoko. And you don't see me because I am wiped out, and I can't believe you have a massive amount of energy and stamina. My God, you were partying like an animal, and now you're still here on Monday morning talking to us. Monday, I mean, Monday night, geez. At any rate, you are such a well-deserved individual for that award, for, to be the first one, to be the example, to be the one that is, you know, the, the, the real true example of, of, of a humans being more. And we are very, very grateful and fortunate to have you lead us. Um, it, it, you know, the, 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 the leaders that are going to be following you are going to be having to exceed or, or rise up to you. And, it, and it's a great, great place to be. And we thank you so much for Bob Proctor. I hadn't seen him for 20 years. And I can't believe that guy at 84 is like, he still looks like he's in the 40s and 50s when I used to attend. Oh my God. Your children, your children, your, your two daughters brought for me. I couldn't stop crying. And, and I'll share more of that because, I mean, it brought up the family and the spirit. And it really, really finally, you know, brought me to where I, I, I have to be. And, and lastly, the round tables were great, but I could, I'm really looking forward to more of all of this because you put a little bit of everything and you kind of like gave us a little tidbit of everything and especially new people. It's, it's, it's an amazing event. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Anyone else? Me and um, I certainly echo everything everyone has already said. It was just extraordinary. Um, the wide variety of information that was covered and, and, like and tacos, so it fancy was so around. satisfying to the head, but so super um, filling for the heart. Um, from your kids to Bob Proctor and everybody in between, of course, you being in the center of all of that. 
and I had um, encouraged Julie Matt Thompson to come, which she did, uh, Judy Matt, um, the mother of Julie Matt, who was tragically killed two years ago. And she was so thrilled she came. I tried to introduce her to people who I thought knew Julie, and I know I miss people and all of that. And there were many others who knew Julie and loved her and that couldn't be there. But the warmth that they conveyed to her about their love for Julie and appreciation for Julie was so healing for this aching mother. And um, she, she was just astounded of everybody's warmth and support to her. So it, that, that was a live lesson of humans being more, right? That, that we really are for each other, which is the message I think Mr. Masuda wanted us to share with the world. Thank you. Anyone else? Yes, Mike, this is Anne Brienza. Go ahead, from, Anne. Go um, ahead. I just, I, I reiterate everything that everyone said. It was, you were so dynamic and the details that you attended to down to um, the, all the, the beautiful banners and posters, people thought it was like an Academy Awards ceremony. If you look on any of the social media and the comments that are coming back from people they're just so impressed by the quality of your graphics and all those little details. And the one detail I want to note was that it was the first time that I ever had to wear a headset. And it was putting something new in my experience. Now I appreciate what people from other countries go through when they are attending events that are in English and they need to put the headset. It really was very important impactful because not only were we able to hear things quickly we didn't have to wait for the translation but we could experience listening to others and that was a really really unique experience for me and i thank you so much for all the details and just being who you are thank you well featuring um france and latin america and again being able to watch the nonverbal listen with squinted ears to be able to hear, but even the interaction among us on the elevators at the meals, it was just, it was truly a global sharing and, um, and connecting, again, more connections of how to help one another in various different states and cities and countries. Um, excellent, um, just excellent. And the food, Michael, at the Platinum Above Dinner and at the gala was absolutely superb. I don't think I've ever had a better steak than at the gala that you could literally cut with a fork and melt it in your mouth. I've been turned off beef for quite some time, and I thoroughly enjoyed that meal. But aside from the food, I was impressed with how well everything kept on schedule. Um, from one speaker, one group of speakers, to the next, to the next. Sometimes you're actually ahead of schedule. Um, Peter Crowley did an amazing job in the background, um, keeping things going. Jeff did an amazing job on the product display, the um, <clears throat> consistency of the Nikan uh, tablecloths on the product display, on the registration tables. I enjoyed being on the registration table because it gave me an opportunity to connect faces with their names. Um, you see them on the webinars and you see the name, but, but you don't remember it always but giving them their badge and giving them their book and the agenda gave me an opportunity to um, interact with some of them and give and receive hugs from people that I've never been in physical contact with previously. It was great to see my son from another mother again and have that time with Christian because as you know, we shared a room together two years ago in Orlando and um, 
we had lunch together one day and I went to pay for my lunch and he said, no, no, no. If I can't buy my mom a lunch once in a while, then what kind of a son am I? It was just the connections, the, the whole um, energy from everyone, from people we've never met to, to people we can now call friends yeah. and having met them face to face and hugged and, the the whole energy michael was unsurpassed and your children um randy said she was in tears i was in tears when savannah and sophia both spoke they were so eloquent in what they said and they have they have lived the life of a wellness home and i thoroughly enjoyed seeing louise again and and working with her on the desk I hadn't seen Louise since we were all at Owen's funeral when Michael was an infant. I think he was, what, a month or six weeks old at the time. And that was the last time I had seen Louise. So we had some catching up to do. Um, everything was just first class, first class. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure even though you're tying up the loose ends, you must be breathing a sigh of relief and actually catching your breath a little bit. And I hope Rima is too, because she worked so hard. So, so very hard. She was working actually right now. She just texted me and said, it's not going to happen um, to be able to show you guys the reel from the uh, event, but it's, it's, it's taking forever to render. So it's not going to be tonight. To have the talent to know how to do it is amazing. Mm -hmm. Um, she, she did the uh, she did the reels for the um, for the award show and as, as soon as I saw like it was nerve wracking because I didn't know if she was going to be able to get it done. It just looked like the first one was taking forever to do, and then I thought there's like twelve of these things or whatever there are. Anyway, um, watching it on unveiled at the event was just like with with the hosts up on stage. It was like wow, this is like. I was just blown away. It was, it was First so good. First class is what it was. First <laughs> class is what it was. Make no mistake about it. It was first class. It could not have been done more professionally. It was off the hook. And so nice that Sophia was the one to give you mm -hmm. the Humans Being More Award. Yeah. That was special for the two of you. Mm -hmm. Very much so. Mike, yeah, a couple, couple quick. It is stop kicking around, or I'm gonna start spanking you. <laughs> Hold on a second. Thanks, Gary. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> um, to add to Anne's comment about the headsets, a side benefit of the headsets was that you could, if you needed to go, you could go and not miss anything. Because <laughs> they're radio it wired, right? So it was great yeah. reception. So that was wonderful. Um, that I loved seeing Bob Proctor again, and his energy was profound. Um, he brought the the whole idea of the legacy of Niken, you know, that and he brought um, the heart, and he brought um the history of his history and his love and his his uh, appreciation for for um for what we're all about that was really special and um and richard was amazing um i said on a couple of other calls today he, i thought he was going to be boring but he was awesome i loved it and the idea of you know, releasing the past and realizing that every company that um, is worth something has a past, but makes it through the past. And, um, and we are a network marketing profession. And, you know, that it, it just all fell together beautifully. Anyone else? I want to commend you on taking care of details that you probably didn't even realize were going to have the significant impact that it did, just because it was so many pieces. I was amazed at everything, just everything. 
But one piece I haven't heard anybody speak about yet is you made sure there were materials on the tables that dealt with everything. I saw the, the brochure, the um, booklet by Gary, cards. Man, you did it all. I was so impressed. And I heard loud and clear that, I mean, we've all heard it, but the consistency and the minimum of one a day um, when Richard was talking, it was almost funny. It was ridiculous, but he made the ridiculous superb. So I took him up on it. I'm doing it. And so that night at the airport, it's like, who can I call? I, 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 what's up? I mean, what can I do? That night, I became international. And I met a couple from Canada, did not know them. And I wasn't even going to do anything with them, just be nice. And the lady needed a wheelchair, I'm trying to make this real short, needed a wheelchair. I said, oh, there's some over there. She got it. She brought it back. I said, in God good, that did it. We got like this real fast. She and her husband together agreed on an over $200 order that night in the airport. And I didn't even know them. <laughs> so I didn't have my stuff. I wasn't ready. But um, Bernie almost got me because he said, I need a brochure. I just want a brochure. And I said, I've got one. Mike, you had those on the table too. I went right in my stuff, gave him the brochure. They were so happy. They gave me all their information. And because I couldn't put the order in, I said, look, I got to register you as a customer. She said, do whatever. I want those insoles. Because he was saying his feet hurt. And one leg was very swollen. Anyway, did the, um, just a mini demo with the insoles. Anyway, I went international that night. Right and it was on. because of the program and the materials that you put on the table. And what's funny is they're from Panama, but they were going to her home in the Philippines. And she said, you call me, we got to get together. We got to do stuff. And I'm thinking, we sure do. <laughs> so all of your details just made such a difference. And I got to use it that night. I'm executing it. I didn't just hear it. I'm doing it. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, that's really, that's a really important point. I think, um, I'm not sure who it was. I think it was, uh, Mary Robson, who was who pointed out, what could we possibly do to thank you enough for what you gave us? And then she said she had thought about it, and her answer was, just go and do the work. And the results would be the thank you. And honest to God, that's all I ever ask for as a, as a return, is for you to do what it takes to make your business thrive, your lives thrive. That's the reward. I... Um, I had this um, little a text interaction with Bob. He saw my girl's video, the, the kid's video today. And he was really, really impressed. Um, anyway, he was, he was texting me last week. And I can't remember what it was about, but he said, I love the law. And, and, and it was because of his great generosity. And I was so grateful to him. And he's just like, I love the law. What he was really inferring was, that it's the law handles all the rest. You know, the return is always there. It's just, it's part of the nature of the law. When you give and you understand that there's really only one source, so it doesn't matter where you give, um, that you're putting it out there, it comes back to source. So it, it, it's full circle. And when you have an appreciation and an understanding of that, where it's not just in your head, but it's like you just know that it's as clear as a bell to you. It's as, as, it's as absolute as gravity. It's just what it is. Then you live according to it. You just simply do. And he is that kind of guy. He is, he had, he is completely transparent and he just lives the law. So his generosity is, is, real, is real genuine because he simply understands that the law supplies for him and, and all of us exactly the same way. So um, the best thing that we could do with all of this is apply it, is take the energy and, and, dis and, and, and distribute it in, and to f let it flow um, because it's an infinite supply. You see, the thing is about this energy is what you're feeling right now is a vibration. Um, feeling is conscious awareness of vibration. So you're actually, on a frequency right now. 
that frequency is palatable. You can taste it. You can feel it. I feel it. It's just, it's like I'm almost in a daze. And that feeling is what people are experiencing. When you, when you experience my children, you experience the vibration. You experience their frequency, which is so pure and innocent and yet um, so on point and purposeful. So it, 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 you, get the, you get the gist of the energy. So when you're on that energy, understand that it's not a motivation. It's not an artificial motivation that you need to be pumped up again. It is a vibration that you've now secured. You're on that vibe. And so you want to be a conduit at that level. You want to be the person who allows that frequency and the flow of that energy through you, and you're characterizing it by the, the frequency that you're on. You can, I mean, anger is just the same thing. A lot of people show a tremendous amount of energy when they're angry, and all they're doing is flowing that energy that comes from the same source, but they're characterizing it in a very low vibration. But they're putting so much energy into it that they're really embellishing the amplitude. What I want to do is embellish the amplitude of this frequency, which means invite more people to participate in it and, and allow yourselves to be conduits of it by realizing you are a conduit. Essentially, at the end of the day, that was my message, was that we are conduits of the energy that is infinite and in an infinite supply running through us, and we get to characterize it. We get to give it a, um, a presence in our life and the lives of others around us by how we characterize it. And the best way to characterize it is with uh, the kind of feeling that you're feeling right now. That feeling is associated with hope. That feeling is associated with a sense of purpose. It's grounded because you know the purpose is not frivolous. It's meaningful. It's heartfelt. It's, it's transformational. It's generational. You know, it's global. So what you're, you're plugged into right now is this understanding that um that is resonating with you it's in your it's in your cells right now and you're you're not even sure how to do deal with it because it's just so wow and all you are just remember is the the, the conduit through which it can flow just like uh, uh all, all the experiences that you have when you talk to somebody you know when you talk to somebody they pick up on the vibe what's the vibe you're on this is now an anchor for you. This event becomes an anchor. The reason why we ran the theme song that we did, which was throughout the event, and it, it was played at a very specific point at each time in the event. It was the sequence to kicking off the session. Um, and it was the final session and the final sequence to end the, the event. And in that song, when I, um, when I told Sophia several weeks back, the song that I chose for the event, we played it. We were at my father's house and we played it. And she said, and cause I know, I know she loved the movie and I loved the movie and she loves the song as I love the song. And she said, I just want to make people feel the way this song makes me feel. And so, and this song Made, makes me feel a certain way, which is why I wanted to share it with you guys. I wanted it to be the song that anchored the emotions and the feelings and the vibration of this event because it just makes me feel what I want to feel always. Mary, I see you just joined us. And uh, I mentioned your comment as to how you can repay us, repay me or whoever. The people put this event together, which was to go out and make it happen, get the results keep the, the flame lit and be the conduit of this vibe. Do you want to add to that at all? Here, let me, yeah, you got it. Whoop. Go ahead. Um, I, I really don't because I've been thinking about this whole weekend and I was so honored to be there. And, um, I, oh yeah, I do have something to, I do want to add. I wanted to thank you and Bo and your staff and uh, Nikan and uh, corporate and everybody involved and all our teachers uh, on stage and off stage for making this happen. I am so proud 
It's a Canadian thing. I love my American friends and colleagues, but hey, we're doing it in Canada. Yay! <laughs> I'm <am> so happy. <laughs> and the reason I'm happy is that we, I, I've always felt that we were, I had an identity linked with uh, the U.S. and uh, the Latin Americans have their own events. And so thank you very much for that. So I've, um, I made some notes for myself. You know, we've got so many gifts from Nikan. But for me, this was a huge gift. We're going to do this annually. And uh, that's why I, you know, I want us Canadians to really step up and do the work that we need to do to repay you for getting this. A rocket ship, you build a rocket ship over the years, you've just added some beautiful new fuel to it. You know, 21st century fuel, Michael. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful. Well, Michael, you mentioned that you had shown the video of your children speaking to Bob Proctor. Is that going to be available to us as a separate video that we can share with uh, families, uh, with young Young, uh, young children and uh, it's interesting young you adults. That because um, so I was talking with Savannah earlier today, and she has some ideas. Um, and she shared this video. What happened was, one somebody from her social media network saw some of her posts and reached out to her, and, and it has indicated an interest in Niken. So immediately she called me and said, "So what do I do?" And I said, "Well, just introduce her them to me. That's what we do." So. So she wrote down real quick a script for how she's going to make that introduction. I said, perfect. And then she said, I sent him the video too of our talk. And that really got him excited. Um, so I said, you know, that could be a great prospecting tool for you, Savannah, because it really does say what we're about. It's, it's about the lifestyle that we've been able to generate and you're able to em embrace and, and live because of the vehicle. So it's, it speaks to the agenda that Bob, um, mentioned he said you know people want the the quarter inch hole they don't want the quarter inch drill bit right so uh, don't sell the magnets sell them lifestyle and um so to answer that question i'm hoping that somebody out there has a better copy because i think the the video that we have is from rima who was standing right at the very back of the room so it's not as I guess it's just not as sharp or clean as it could be if it was somebody closer to the front of the room. So I'm hoping that somewhere it'll surface that somebody has a good clean video of this. Otherwise, yeah, we do have that. Um, I'll certainly ask the girls if, and Michael and so forth, if they're okay with me just putting it out there. And so you'll, you'll, you'll see it come from me somehow, some way, if they're okay with it. I'm sure they're going to be fine with it. Um, you know, I, Go ahead. I think Bernard, I think um, a good person to start with would be Bernadette's table because I think uh, Tra was uh, recording and that was the first day, correct? Yes, the morning, yeah. And they were right close, so uh, that might be a good place to start. I'll ask him. Thank you very much. Mike, another um, thought that I just had was your recognition of administration of corporate and that integration of corporate. and that felt very different than it is felt since we haven't had the corporate annual meetings. I don't remember if someone said it from stage or elsewhere that this is what was like when corporate had an annual event, and it certainly was. And so that recognition, and Jeff was touched. He took the crystal vase out and shared it with us at the table before he left uh, the meal, the one that where he was at the head table with uh, Bob Proctor, very, very touched. And I talked to him then and then again in the evening when he was leaving and circulating around. He's done several HBMs this year. So I said, Jeff, how does it feel since you really started, you know, with your mom and, and you've been the humans being more uh, professor? And he said, this has been a humans being more event. So that relationship with corporate and the field and Latin American corporate in the field uh, that also felt um, different and I and I think Richard Bliss broke up with that too when he was when he made the when he gave the analogy of a new 
reimbursement system. And the other thing I took away from him was the one in 10,000. You know, we all get so frustrated that it's um, those Mike DiMuccio's and Dave Johnson's are, uh, they are a little hard to find, but that again, it's how many people are out there and how many people absolutely don't know and just going out and interviewing. So, you know, we're, we're talking about the vibration now, but there, there were vibrations from a lot of different um, perspectives. I think synthesizing corporate field network marketing professional, you know, everything was professional. The medical professional panel didn't get into, you know, treat this, that, and the other. It, it had to do with being a profession means to profess a body of knowledge. So we had the professional body of knowledge, the wealth creating body of knowledge, the top of the profession. So the gold standard, and then that interrelationship of collaborative entrepreneurship in action. Yeah, in I was I was really pleased with the the way um, all the presenters delivered their content. They were on point. They delivered their content, which which created a storyline. So there was a whole storyline through the entire event, as you mentioned earlier. Purpose, profit, people, but specifically within the cast, the the, the segment, there was a storyline being unveiled. And everybody did their job and there was that collaboration. I think that was just really, like, I honestly am, um, am inspired and blown away by the, the effect. You know, it's one thing you imagine something. And then when it's actually better than what you imagined, that's just like, wow, that's, you're just on the other side of that saying, holy smokes. <laughs> so that's just kind of how it feels. To answer your question, Lori, um. I close my eyes and I can see a world that's waiting up for me that I call my own through the dark through the door, through where no one's been before, but it feels like home. They can say, they can say it all sounds crazy. They can say, they can say I've lost my mind. I don't care, I don't care, so call me crazy. We can live in a world that we desire. Cause every night I lie in bed, the brightest colors fill my head. A million dreams are keeping me away. I think of what the world could be, a vision of the world I see. A million dreams is all it's gonna take. A million dreams are the world we're gonna make. Thank you, Mike. That was wonderful. Mike, uh, it's Randy. When, uh, when you started playing this, I had just written down on my pad here, empowerment. Uh, I just think the event was so, so empowering with the choices we need to make, healthy by choice, not by chance, um, choices to step up and change the world for the better, share this with everybody. Um, and I did love uh, the Brooke shaming us into, uh, you know, one a day for 90 days. Why not? <laughs> you know, And, and uh, his uh, commitment to working with legacy companies, that was such a validation, an outside validation for, a, you know, a 40-year veteran of our profession. Uh, very, very exciting. So, again, thank you. My pleasure. Yeah, I, um, I think... Um, the goal was, I guess, when you come away from this, that you would feel such a stronger connection to the purpose, the meaning, the value, the why, 
why what we need to do, what, how, what I said earlier, I, I, what I said in my talk was, if we could just get ourselves out of the way, our identity, our association <laughs> with things that are not meaningful, things that are not relevant, it's just habit. It's just, it's just we, we grow attached to uh, an idea of ourselves. That's not even the truth. It's just simply a, 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 such a small reflection of our potential. That if we could connect to the source and if we could connect to um, the purpose and the meaning behind why we are, we, we've been endowed with these wonderful gifts. And the, the thing that you are most challenged by, because I remember this as a kid, I knew I had influence. I saw it. I saw it operating in my life. I knew I was able to influence people. And what then became extremely important to me was what's the message? Because if I'm going to influence people, it better be a vein of truth. Otherwise, I could be misleading. It became quite, quite an important thing for me to, to seek the truth and discover the truth and become, therefore, a person who influences people in that way. What we, I'm hoping that your connection to this event, your connection to the story, the connection to the song, the connection to who we are, really, and how we are so important in the in the tapestry of this thing called Niken and its impact on the world that in the days to follow in the days to come when you're out there in your environment meeting people they're going to connect with you and you're going to be on such a in such a place in such a space in such a vibe that regardless of how they respond you're going to be untouchable your vibe is going to be untouchable you're you're not associating who you are with how they react you're not associating with your mission and your purpose with whether they understand it or not value it or not that it it's something that you now own on a level that's in every cell of your being and you know as as richard pointed out there's people out there and there will be people out there that do resonate with this message and resonate with it at the frequency that you're con conveying it, because that's really what we want. We want to grow the family. More Jerry Schwabs. Yeah, we want to grow the family, and we want to grow the family of people of like mind, of people of like heart. And so that way there's less struggle, there's less about identity crisis. It's about coming together with a group of people who are looking for a better way to express to, to express their spirit and expand it and uh so i i just i'm hoping that the new story that you've been seeking the new connection that you've been seeking in order to give you the fortitude the horsepower to stand in front of somebody with conviction and clarity and and communicate the value of this is is locked in that because this is my vision what you saw there, what you saw represented is a vision that I hold for this. This is how I see it. This is the Nikan I see. This is the way I see it being presented. These are the truths that I see being shared. And I think so highly of it that I would hope that others would see it that way too. And those are the people I want to hang with. Michael, may I um, add another comment? My connection uh, came with uh, being there and feeling like we were all about human being more. I love the five pillars. And when I talk to people about the five pillars, I get this glazed look. But um, I, at, an, at an emotional level for me, the humans being more. I've always wanted to be more and give more and love more. So I was just delighted, like walking in there. I saw it, you know, all of the advertising before. I saw it, it was there. And yes, I've heard it so many times from different speakers. But for me, it just blew me away because everybody that came on stage was a humans being more. And two things that happened when Oprah, you showed Oprah's um, um, film, and also when you showed the photos of the, everybody and you said 
these are other humans being more. I cried. Because that's true. It's true. You know, and I'm the biggest um, um, person that takes myself out all the time. So um, I felt really good. That, that made me feel good. And so that connection, and that's what I will be telling people. You know, that's what I want for everybody. Fantastic. Well, folks, on that note, I think we can wrap. And um, I'll post this video so it's ready to go. I appreciate sure. make just this one um, kind of comment. I know that you're a man of um, not just perfection, but you want it right. You want it to come through as a perfectionist. That's great. However, I kind of heard you say tonight that the um, recording that you saw of your kids wasn't quite up to par. With that, it's so still over the top that I hope you don't hold back good stuff because it's not at the quality level that you want it. No. I was almost in tears when I had the opportunity to speak to your children in the hall. And I was just amazed. And I got to tell the daughter who's um, majoring in sight, I said, honey, I've got a PhD in it. And my husband told me that as you spoke, I was just grunting in agreement. And then I realized when she finished, I hadn't made any notes because I was so taken aback by it. And I said, but Sophia, when you began to speak and you started on that same um, advanced thread of clarity and um, revelation, I said, I got you, honey. I recorded you. So I did not miss anything with her. So my point is, in your desire to capture things excellently, Everything was so excellent. Please let us have whatever, because <laughs> everything is okay. literally over the top. Fantastic. We'll look well said, to Sandra. Well said. <laughs> okay. Okay. I heard you. Thank you. And I'll definitely um, make sure that there is a version available. So thank try you, to, everyone. Try to get some sleep. Try to get some sleep. Yeah, out. that's that's coming. Yeah. That's coming. Yes. Sleep water, you know, that feed yeah. was in there too. Yeah, sleep hydration. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, everyone. Thank you for participating. Thank, Thank you for, you for joining us in Toronto. Those of you who were not there, I'm sorry you, you missed such an, uh, such an event, but I hope that you are getting a sense that this was an important moment in time for us and for Nikan, and, uh, and you want to be on the train. You definitely want to be on the train with us. So everyone have a wonderful evening. We'll catch you next week. Cheers. I'm so pumped. Thank you. <laughs>